What's up, YouTube? It's Raining Car Games, and welcome to the final episode of YouTube Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! The Raid Raptor Saga. We have had quite a journey with the Raid Raptors. You guys have suggested some very interesting things to make changes to the deck. Mushroom Man, Larva Moth. But anyway, I have gone ahead and I have applied all of the changes from the previous polls for today's current deck build, and we will be hopping onto EDO Pro as always in the current global situation to see how the deck does one last time. Now, before we go ahead and hop onto EDO Pro, I just wanna first briefly mention that as of right now, when I am filming this video, there are roughly 18 entries into the RCG Cup. That number may have changed since uh, the time of recording to the time of uploading, so please be sure to go check on the Discord server to see if there's still room to apply if you haven't already done so. And as always, you guys, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow us on Instagram, join the Discord, check out the Patreon, join us as a YouTube channel member, and then all that fun stuff, just because it really does help the channel a lot, especially in troubling times. And then also, if you're trying to buy some cards, use my TCG player for me. It's like, <laughs> Anyway, that's going to do all the self-promotion. I have no shame whatsoever. Now, let's go ahead and hop onto EDO Pro and take the Raid Raptors out for a spin one last time. Alright you guys, let's go ahead and look at this deck profile that we have for you today. Last time we'll be looking at the Raid Raptors for a hot minute. So, starting off, we have our three Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius. You all know this is one of our primary starters in the deck. It's a Foolish Burial for the deck, which is amazing. Next up, another play starter. This is probably another really one helping to swim the field. We have our Raid Raptor Vanishing Lanius. As you know, once per turn, soft once per turn. During the main phase, if it was a normal or special summon this turn, I can special summon a level 4 lower Raid Raptor from the hand. Pretty good effect. Mimicry Lanius, this is primarily what we're dumping into the graveyard because I can banish it to search a Raid Raptor card. It has an on-field effect where I can increase all the levels of Raid Raptors by one, but that usually doesn't come up too often, but it is also a nice 1900 wall to set in defense if it comes to that. Um, last Strix, this is how we are cheating out a lot of our high rank Raid Raptors from the extra deck, and it is a great one for one target. Uh, Fuzzy Lanius, it is a niche extender. If I use its special summon ability, it locks me into Raid Raptors, but now with the new additions that we've added gradually to the deck, it's not so bad anymore. Uh, Pain Lanius, easy rank 4 tool. Just have to pay a little bit of life once per turn, but it's still a great little extender, as is Singing Lanius. Um, as always, we have our Apex Avian, our Thunderbird, and then the new addition is Chris the Crack of Dawn, which we have replaced the slot of um, Rank Up Magic Doom Double Force. So another uh, Wing Beast Extender in this case. Speaking of Wing Beast Extenders, we have Black Wings Zephyros the Elite, Double Ash. Then we go into our spells, Triple Alert, Triple Called by the Grave, Triple Rank Up Magic Skip Force, Double Soul Shave Force, our one Rank Up Magic Astral Force, and then we have our Raid Raptor Call, Raid Raptor Nest, Foolish Burial, one for one, and double or nothing, so we can go for the 10,000 attack point OTK. Um, moving on to the extra deck, we have our final Fortress Falcon. Double ulti Falcon, one Satellite Cannon Falcon, we have the one Revolution Falcon, my personal favorite, the one Blade Burner Falcon, then we have the one Force Strix, then we have our Utopia Package, Moving on, we have our Cyber Dragon Infinity, which is our primary Soul Shave Force target. Then we have our Wise Strix, Union Carrier, some more Bird of Kings, and our Boral Sword if we need to go for that extra push. Moving on to the side deck, we have Triple Evenly. One Evenly was added in in the place of one of the Twin Twisters. We have our Pankratops, Double Didi Crow, Double Nibiru, one Mind Control. Now Triple Cosmic Cyclone, one Cyclone replaced the other Twin Twisters, and then Triple Dark Ruler no more. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get some gameplay in. All right, looks like we are going second for this matchup. So let's do this. We're going up against Salad. There you go, guys. We're going up against the meta deck. Fun, fun. Hmm. Yish. Ok, 
Gazelle will send question mark spinny. Ah, Jackie Jag. And there's the Sunlight Wolf. Question is, how much back row are we going to be seeing? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. No back row. Interesting. So we would probably expect some hand traps here. Um, hmm. Okay. Got an idea. He's waiting. Effect Veiler? Nope. Cool. Let's go into... Yeah, let's just go into Satellite Cannon Falcon. And then we'll activate our Skiff Force. And we'll go into Ulti Falcon. Nice. Okay. Um, just thinking here. Should I go into Final Fortress? No, I'm going to save that. Um, go into battle phase. Attack the Sunlight Wolf. Okay. Uh, main phase 2. We'll set a card, and then let's go end phase. Activate effective ulti falcon. He's now got really weak salads on the field. And, hmm. Wow, four mud skipper. This came in the structure deck. Chain. Uh, banish the Sunlight Wolf just so he can't extend any further. He has the Gazelle. Okay. Sends a Spinny. Spinny can then. Okay. I guess he can go into Boral Sword. Or is he going for an Avermax play? We'll find out. Another Heat Leo. This is a new one. Parallel Exceed. So this card was special summoned by the effect of a Parallel Exceed. It comes level 4. You link summon with this card while this is in your hand. Special summon. Okay, so that's what it did. If this card is no more special summon, you can special summon a Parallel Exceed from your deck. And now he's got two level 4s. What's he going to go into, though? Number 60, Dugaris. So is he going to go for... What are we going for here? Hmm. You're gonna have to go into something big to beat over Ulti Falcon. Okay, so that's his way out. That's pretty good. This is kind of where I wish I had a uh, booster strikes, because this go booster strikes. Nope. But I should, I will be surviving this. So if I survive this, he won't be able to attack me next turn. I think 1015, I think I'll survive. Yeah, I should survive this. Barely. Barely. <laughs> Top deck of the century. You know what, actually? Yeah. There it is. Okay. We 
We've got this though. Banish that and we'll banish you. Bring out you. And let's go above and beyond. Oh yeah, wait, I can't. Forgot about that, he's unaffected, so let's just go straight to battle. Herp derp had a dumb moment. Kill the heat, Leo. Alright, uh, main phase two. Oh, I might turn out that. I forgot. You won't work on you. I can only use... Oh well. It's okay. We're learning here. And we inflicted damage, and he can't do battle right. He can't attack me, so... We will see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Brings out the Sunlight Wolf. Okay. So he's got a Bailings and Grave. I would almost rather have gone the more Protect the Castle route. I mean, the more... I feel like for this... Actually, you know what? No. So, like, you know, there are two way routes of play now with Raid Raptors. You got your ulti falcon, kind of, like, protect the castle, unga bunga, like, you can't beat me without going, like, you know, out of your way to get rid of the ulti falcon. Or there's the negate thing with some more cyber dragon, using your, basically, special summons to, you know, turbo out all the negates. So, we'll see what we can do here. Uh, no. We'll draw for turn. But you still take the damage. I'm not getting rid of this ulti falcon. No way. His normal summons effect Valor. He's going for Boral Sword. Three plus monsters. Oh no, he's going. Okay, Almirage. Yeah, that makes sense. So are we looking at a. Uh... Avermax? Or are you going something else? Okay, Transcode. Yeah, that makes sense too. Transcode. Oh, do we have an update, Jammer? Hmm. Okay. No, that's fine. Oh, okay. Yes. He already has a Sunlight Wolf in Grave, right? Yeah. Finish that sunlight wolf. Yeah, I'm gonna force the roar. Okay. Cool. So I force the roar out. Yeah, he should be able to get game here. He's gonna go update Jammer. Cause he'll be able to get out enough to OTK me. It's a shame, but we gave him a good fight, considering given the circumstances. Also, I think I, I wasted that astral force, but I didn't really have much else to do. With the given the hand I was dealt, but it's all right. There, oh, Boral load. Okay. No update jammer. And then he'll kill me. And GG. Oh well, oh well. Kill me. On to the next game we go. Game two! Looks like we will be going first! Okay, um, well, let's go allure. I gotta draw something. Banish... The Elite. Normal Sun. Alright. Let's hope for something good. Nice, Spanish you. Activate effect. All right, let's go into satellite cannon. Activate. We'll go into ulti. Activate raid raptor call. Bring out another one, and then we'll go into. I don't want to do this. Let's go into 
Four Strix. Activate Four Strix effect. I'm locked. Am I locked into Raid Raptors? Yeah, I'm locked into Raid Raptors right now. Fuzzy Lanius. Activate Fuzzy effect. Special Summon. Him. Activate effect. So let's just bring out a Mimicry. And turn. Activate effect. Burn for a thousand. His effect will trigger, which will set a so shavy wavy force. That's not bad. I got an ulti falcon out, and I've got ways to bring out more extra deck monsters, so it's not terrible. Melody of Awakening Dragon discards Mothman to add... Okay, we're playing Blue Eyes. We're playing Blue Eyes. Noise. Draw. Discard. Danger Bigfoot. You can only target one of these two. Okay. Interesting. He goes for the Y Strix. Why wouldn't you go for the Lanius? Because then you could inflict more damage. I mean, he has an alternate in hand, yep. You can only pop this one, you can't pop Ultimate Falcon. Monster Reborn. Bigfoot. Uh, rank 8 play? Probably. You could go Draglubleon. Oh, he's going for Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, nice. So once per battle phase, at the start of battle phase, you can detach a material and... Oh, he's going straight into full Photon. That's cool. Alright. Alright, I can respect that. Battle phase. Yep. Aye, 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 aye. And he goes into Galaxy Cypher. Nice. Once per turn target. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I see you. Banishes for collapse. Okay. I see you, I see you. Pisty. Interesting move, yes. Get you the white dragon wyver burster. Special summon the wyver burster, I'd assume. You wouldn't leave a pisty on the field. It's kind of useless right now. <laughs> Banishes for Red MD. Okay, there we go. Red MD effect. Okay. Summons out Neo Kaiser Glider. You can discard this card and one monster target one. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can make your opponent's much. Doesn't do much. Interesting. Wow, nice. You to special summon. Ooh, I've got an idea. Okay. Okay, so Datchitude this turn can attack all monster punishment from the least one book. Perfect. Attack all monsters my opponent controls. Let's go straight into battle phase. Nope. Full point! Two. We'll set this card face down and we will pass turn. Clearing up that board. Okay. Special summons the white dragon. He can't out the revolution falcon. Not bad, guys. We beat blue eyes. Alright, so it looks like we will be going first! Interesting. Okay, we can make this work. 
We'll normal summon you. Tribulaneous effect. Let's send a Mimicry Alanius. Mm, activate Pain Lanius effect, targeting Tribute, which will go here. Okay. Activate effect of Mimicry. Let's add Raid Raptor Nest. Okay. Activate effect of Nest. Well, we'll activate it, and then we'll activate its effect, and then let's add a. What do I want here? What do I want? Let's go singing, Lanius. Special summon. Four Strix. Special summon out you. Activate effect. Attaching you. Okay, we can add. We'll add Chris the Crocodile. And then we can go into Y Strix. Activate his effect. We'll special summon out our Blackwing Zephyros the Elite. Which allows us to special summon you. So we can go into, it has to be, well let's at least get a negate on the field, huh? Not ideal. I wish there were a few things I could have done differently there, I should have done differently, but at least we got A and negate out. Toy vendor, huh? Let's return, discard a card, draw a card, show it, and then it's false, full, special summon. Otherwise, you can discard the card. No, let's save it for the paw, whatever fusion they do. No, that's fine. So they discard wings. We're going up against Fluffles. Interesting. Discard Agium Scythe. Fluffle Owl. Normal special to add a poly from there. No. Let's save the negate for the polymerization. Fluffle Sheep. Okay, no, that's fine. Brings out Edgem Scythe. Yes. Negate the fusion, so let's see what. Okay, he can't do anything. Nice. Yep. Activate effect. Bring out. Having that Apex Avion on the field is nice. So let's see what we can do. Ooh, nice. Nice. Allure of Darkness. During your opponent's melee, you can reveal this card and fusion summon one fire from Yep, I'm instantly negating that. Glad I brought out. Okay, we will banish a Mimicry. Nice. This is already pretty freaking good. Normal summon you. Activate effect. Let's send a... Send a fuzzy. Fuzzy effect. Adds a fuzzy. We're, so we're deck thinning here. Ooh, I've got, I've got an idea. Activate Soul Shave. And then we can go into Revolution. Special summon, my personal favorite. Blade Burner. Yep, Blade Burner's effect. Um, activate. Let's add Y Strix to hand. Okay, let's just go battle phase. Is this lethal? No. Hmm. Activate effect. Destroy one monster. Destroy that one.
Oh wow, he surrendered. So the Fluffle player scooped. That is fine by me. And now it is our turn to do some shenanigans going first. So, 2 1. Okay, um, we will banish the fuzzy. Normal summon. Activate effect. Now, activate effect. And we'll banish, and we'll add. Yeah, we'll add Pain Lanius. Activate the effect of pain, targeting tribute. Go out. Okay. Um, hmm. Go into four stricts. Activate the effect of four stricts. Singing Lanius. Special summon. Go into Y Shrix. Activate effect. A Black Wing Zephyrus Elite, which can set us up for future plays. I can activate Foolish Burial and send. Oh no, but I banished my. No, I banished my Fuzzy, so I can't even extend. No. Poop. I didn't want to do that. I just, I thought I had a combo, but I didn't. No. Damn it. Nibiru. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's. He had a Nibiru. Of course he did. Luckily, I didn't have to go into that much. Com what do we play? On my, oh no, we're playing out Emancipators, you guys. Probably. Automat sends an analyst. We're going up against Ad Emancipators, one of the best decks of the format. You know, he can make a level 13 synchro right now. Block Dragon. And he excavates plenty of rocks. Brings out Kawaki Mirror Guardian. So he's got a negate. Oh, he's got full combo right now. Da da dwarf. Da 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 dwarf. Go 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 glove. Gallant Granite. So he can search a rock. No, what are you searching? Tell me. Tell me! Search is a block dragon. Christian Halki Fibrax, or Needle Fiber, as human beings like to call it. Oh, Lion. Oh, Lion. And. We gotta do something. Hit the researcher. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Wow! Wow! He had the Ghost Bell to counter the call by the grave. That's nuts! And he wasn't even going for research, he was going for analyzing. <laughs> this deck is so good! Oh my god, he's got a negate. It can work around Nibiru and work with Nibiru. It's got needle fiber plays. It's got everything and it's got block dragon protection oh my god this deck is so good raptite yeah i am screwed here guys he can definitely otk me he's got a 3k nibiru anything can beat over this token right now with 10,000 defense i would say yeah i am not going to see the light of day Unless somehow he's gonna negate his attack and then I can stop him right there, like, ah, no, that won't do anything. But it looks like we're gonna end. Oh well. We lost him against Meta, but we beat Rogue. I think that's pretty fair to say. You know, you lose against Salad, you lose against Adam Emancipator. 
But you beat Blue Eyes and you beat Fluffle. 2-2. Two, two. I think that is a fair record for the Raid Raptors. Yep. Oh, yeah. We are so very dead now. 3,000, 6,000, 7,500, and then, yeah, he's got the OTK. Oh, it is still going. He's still going. Wow. You know, actually, he's not safe from Nibiru right now. He's got no monster negate. Oh, well. Block dragon. Nibiru! But he can still play around Nibiru. That's the crazy part about Adam Emancipator, you guys. Kill me. Now he can play around Nibiru. He's got the bow mommy. Or Princess Mononoke. Yep. I am going to die. Gentlemen. It has been an honor. Using the Ray Raptors. And so the saga comes to an end. And that is going to do it for the final episode of the Raid Raptor Saga. It's been a journey, you guys. And I've had fun with the deck. Honestly, I've always wanted to build Raid Raptors from the start. And I figured, how could I spin this in a way that can make this a little more fun and interactive, not just for myself, but for you guys as well who are watching this series. So this is how the series came to be, and I had some real fun with it. And I am looking forward to continuing to play with Raid Raptors. Um, I'm probably going to make some tweaks to the deck on how I would like to build it now, as opposed to your guys' input. Sorry, there will not be any Larva Malts or Mushroom Men in the deck build. But, um, yeah... By all means, I am not done with Raid Raptors by far. With that being said, um, at some point I may revive the YouTube Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! title. Obviously, Raid Raptors have had their time, but I will probably do this series with another deck at some point in the future, so please look forward to that in the... I don't know how near future. We'll see, depending on how the global situation turns out. Because honestly, I, I miss locals. I miss playing the physical card game. So hopefully once this all clears up, I may start the series up again once we can all play Yu-Gi-Oh! for real. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining in today for the last episode. It's been a blast, and I will catch you in the next video.